Hack Tip is brought to you by Bitbucket by Atlassian. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. Before I get started, hit that subscribe button over on youtube.com slash hack5 if you want to see all of our newest Hack Tip episodes, and definitely check out all of our Hack Tip playlists. We have tons of videos lined up for you. I can't wait to get them out. I'm super excited about them. I am your host, Shannon Morse, and today we are covering more networking in the terminal. Now that you know from the episode I did two weeks ago how to view much of the networking information about your network in the terminal, we're going to look at how we can kind of mess around with the network now. So first off, I wanted to review again ifconfig tac a. So I'm going to go over to my computer, ifconfig tac a, and I'm going to check and make sure that my network is in working order. Luckily, everything looks good. Now we're gonna make the wireless network run in promiscuous mode because yes, you can indeed do that from your terminal. So I can sniff traffic on my entire network if I turn it over to promiscuous mode, not just my computer. So uh, sorry in advance to my coworkers who are watching this episode now. Yes, I was in promiscuous mode on our local network. Sorry guys. Love you. So I'm going to type in sudo ifconfig and then my wireless network, it's this one right here, it's really annoying to type out, but that's what it is. Thank you Linux 58s0. And then to change it to promiscuous mode, I just type in pro misc, promisc for promiscuous mode. Hit enter and then put in your password because it's a sudo command because you're making changes. And then if I hit ifconfig tac a again, you will notice that instead of saying it's running just broadcast running multicast, it says broadcast running promisc multicast. So that means that you just change it to promiscuous mode. Ha! Huh. Super easy, super cool. Now, if I wanna change this back though, because I don't necessarily wanna run in promiscuous mode unless I am doing some kind of penetration test, I'm going to just type in sudo ifconfig WLP F8 S0 and then dash promisc like so. And then to check that again, I'll do that. And it should just change back to broadcast running multicast. And it does, so cool. I'm back into my normal uh, mode. Now, if you want to, you can also check ifconfig for a very specific network interface if you want to by just typing in uh, the WLP58S0 number, and then it won't show me loopback, it will just show me the wireless interface, so good to know. If you want to view more information on your wireless network, you can type IWconfig, which looks a little bit different. It has a little bit kind of different information to see all sorts of data in there. This is similar to ifconfig in many ways, you will notice. Uh, if you are on a computer with lots of different network peripherals, you can also check IWconfig, and then WLP 58S0 just to see that one interface and not all the other ones as well with it. Since we are messing around with our network connections, it is so important to understand the six modes of wireless and how to use them depending on whatever your needs might be, whether that's a penetration test or you're just browsing the web. Make sure to check out our hack tip episode nine. I realize that's a really old episode from several years ago, but it, uh, this is 100, 53, I believe that we're on. Wow, yeah, so it's kind of an old episode, but hey, it's still relevant, so that's the one I'm gonna link to. Uh, we gave a very in-depth explanation of the modes that you can switch to, including master, managed, ad hoc, mesh, monitor, and repeater. I'm not going to explain them here because, well, we already did it, so check out that one for all the research. Now, I am going to move on and talk about something different. Let's say that you wanna restart your network interface in the terminal. You don't necessarily wanna go up into your GUI with a mouse because, I don't know, maybe you don't like using a mouse. That's why we're all using the terminal, right? Now, there are a bunch of ways to do that, but my favorite is sudo ifconfig wlp58s0 down. Now, you're not going to see any kind of output. It's just going to do it in the background. So now, if I ch type in ifconfig, I should just see low. And yeah, that's all I see. Now, if I do wanna bring this back up, which I, I would hope you do if you wanna log on to the internets, I have config WLP58S0 and then up. 
So pretty much the exact same thing. And I'm going to type in ifconfig again just to make sure that it's back up and running and I have an IP address. It looks like I'm good to go. All right, now that I'm back on the internets, we are going to take a moment to thank our sponsor and then I will be right back after this break. Let's be honest, your code is your world. You create it, you tweak it, and you lovingly obsess over it every single day. So picking the right repository management tool is super important, only the best for your code, right? That's why the team at Atlassian created Bitbucket. Bitbucket is the Git solution for professional teams helping over 5 million developers build with a purpose. Bitbucket gives teams of all sizes free private repositories with state-of-the-art features like the world's best pull request algorithm, built-in continuous delivery and integrations with your favorite tools like Docker, I know a lot of you guys use it out there, AWS and Azure. Plus you get Jira integration since it is from Atlassian giving your team everything you need to take your code from concept to customer. Bitbucket is for the code that takes us to Mars. It's the code that decodes the human genome or drives your next car or maybe it is for your next infosec tool. Visit bitbucket.org slash for the code to start your free account. That's bitbucket.org slash for the code. Try Bitbucket today. What will your code do? We are now back with more networking in the terminal. Next up is viewing your routing table. Most of this routing table that you will see is quite self-explanatory. All you have to do is type in route and then you'll see your routing table. It's super easy. This is the Linux kernel's way of navigating throughout your local network to send the correct packets to the correct places, whether that's sending them out to the network or sending packets of data to other computers on your same network. You will notice a couple of things in here. Most of it is self-explanatory, but then you have these flags. So a flag, uh, U, which you will see very commonly, uh, and a G, which is the other very common flag that you'll see. So U means up and G means gateway, respectively. So pretty easy to figure out there. Route can be really useful if for some reason your computer is losing connection to your gateway. You can check to see if it sees the gateway in route. It should have a G under flag, like currently you cannot see my gateway. And you can also add it back. So for adding it back, you would type in route, add tacnet default gateway and then dev eth zero. Now for the most part, you will find that Linux and networking work pretty well together on newer machines. Most of it is generally automatic. If you do run into problems though, these commands can really help you get started on fixing any kind of issues that you might come up with on your own network. Also, Google is your friend when it comes to solving network problems. I often find that many issues that I might have had are easily solved on the Ubuntu forums or a quick question on Twitter. Luckily, a lot of people are super friendly out there and they're very, very up to answering any any issues that you might run into. Thank you so much to Bitbucket. We have a bunch of hack tips heading your way. So again, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash hack5. I also have a whole series of playlists that you can check out over on the playlist button, which is on YouTube. So you can see all the different hack tip series that I've done. Until then, I wanna hear your feedback. Comment below, let me know about what kind of issues you've run into in the terminal when it comes to networking. And lastly, be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. <laughs>